CBS now invites you to enjoy Life with Luigi. Yes, it's Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, written and directed by Lou Derman, and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Early this week, Luigi received a letter from his mother begging him to come home to Italy for a visit. And when he tried to borrow the money from Pasquale, they had an argument over Rosa, and Pasquale threw Luigi out of the antique shop. We find Luigi now in his friend Schultz's home, writing to his mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia. Yesterday, Mamma Mia, I'm, I'm, I went to the employment agency and the fellow there says he's got a job for me with a selling the vacuum cleaners. Yeah, vacuum cleaner, Mamma Mia. In America, that's a broom with the electric. <laughs> First, you push the plug in the wall, then it's to make a big noise, and then the electric bulb is a light up on the bottom so the broom can know where to look for the work. <laughs> Don't worry, Mamma Mia. With this job, I'm soon going to save up enough for money to come home, and then I'm going to... Oh, excuse me, Mamma Mia. I'm, I'm going to be right back. Luigi, my friend. <laughs> How's the little old maid spinster today, eh? Where's your delicatessen friend Schultz today, eh? He's a working, eh? Luigi, the least you could do is be polite and look at me when you ain't talking to me. That's why I'm never going to talk with you no more. You and me, we all washed up. Good. Now let's hang on the line and the drive together. That's <laughs> why it's a good idea. Dry up and then hang yourself. <laughs> That's a funny thing. When I say it, is it come out a different? <laughs> Look, Luigi, you know I didn't mean to kick you out of the antique shop. I'm not a mean man. It's just that, well, whenever we have a little argument, you bring out the jackal from my hide. <laughs> well, please do me a favor. Push the jackal back and go on home. <laughs> Take it easy, Luigi. Calm down. Relapse. <laughs> I'm here to ask a certain party to come home, and uh, maybe I'm going to lend him some money. Pasquale, I'm, I'm a wonder to come back if you was to offer me five million dollars. How's about a six million? <laughs> Better still, how's about if I lend you a few hundred of cash so you could go home to Italy and see your mama like she's a beg you in the land, eh? What do you say, little cabbage boy? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not going to do nothing with you, Pasquale. Any time you offer me the money... You got a big, a fat reason behind it. <laughs> oh, Am I asking you to marry Rosa? You think that's all I got on my mind? You think every time I see you, all I got to talk about is Rosa, Rosa, Rosa? You call me Papa? No, oh, not yet. Go home. <laughs> I'm sorry, but believe me, I, I didn't even know she was there. Well, I did. <laughs> the house was uh, leaning over on her side. <laughs> well, if you excuse me now, I'm going to get a lot of things to do. Now, look, don't be so stubborn, Luigi. You can't live here on the Schultz's forever. Before you know it, the whole neighborhood's liable to start calling you Luigi the Leech. Well, I'm not going to be Luigi the Leech no more. Well, what will you say if I'm going to tell you I'm going to get a job? Uh, I would have said you... You... You job? <laughs> you what a job? A job that's always going to remind me of you, Pasquale. Huh? Because a vacuum cleaners and you, they both are full of wind. <laughs> Just see you now. Pardon me, lady, but my name is Luigi Basco. I'm a greenhorn, but I got a vacuum cleaner wham. She 
slams the door in your face, your banana noses are falling right off. <laughs> Pasquale, I'm, I'm going to be a good salesman, you see. Oh, uh, yes? Uh, where's your social security card, Mr. Big Shots? Where's my... So- social security? But... What's that? Hey, what's that? This wants to be a salesman, eh? Social security card, Mr. Foreigner. That's a card every salesman has got to get from the government. That's to tell the housewife that she's got a security with you because you're the social type. <laughs> Funny, I'm, I'm, I never heard about that before. Let me see, that's uh, social security. Where I get this card, Pasquale? The way you get the card? Uh, by joining the SPCA. <laughs> SPCA? Yeah, Society for Peddling Cleaners in America. <laughs> and you can't get in the union because they only take kids who's working their way through college. No, no, Mama, that's But Mr. Grammer, he's... He's a told me he's a from the Apex Vacuum Cleaner Company. He said I should have come this morning and, and start into work. Well, all right, all right. Then go ahead, Luigi. Be a black market salesman. Sell without a Social Security card in the SPCA. In a one week, you'll able to find yourself sitting between two cows on a boat going to South America. No, 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 no. Now, no. if you change your mind, Luigi, and come home with me... Oh, wait, wait, Pasquale. Hello, Mr. Basco. Oh, hello, Mr. To my night school teacher, Miss Spalding. Come on in, please, Miss Spalding. It's something important I'm, I'm going to tell you. Well, i got to go now, Luigi. Hello, Miss Spalding. Goodbye. Uh... Oh, my goodness, Mr. Pasquale was in quite a hurry, wasn't he? Miss Spalding, I'm, I'm, I've got a terrible trouble. First, the Pasquale, he chased me out of my antique shop. Then then I find a job with selling a vacuum cleaner so I can make money to see my mama me. But Pasquale says that without a social security, I'm, I'm never going to get in the SPCA. Well, I suspect Mr. Pasquale is pulling your leg. No, no, we wasn't a fight, and we was just talking. <laughs> no, Mr. Basco, I mean he was teasing you. The reason I stopped by here, I, I ran across Mr. Schultz, and he told me about your job, and, well, I, I, I just wanted to wish you luck. Oh, well, thank you so much, Miss Spalding. Then, then, then I, I don't need a permission from the government to be salesman, huh? Well, no, of course not. That's the wonderful part of living in a democracy, Mr. Basco. You can hold any job you want, and you may change jobs whenever you wish. Now, don't forget Abraham Lincoln held over a dozen jobs before he became president. Uh, I bet he sold a vacuum of cleaners at two, huh? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. Well, good luck on your new job, Mr. Basco, and I'm sure you'll be able to make enough money to make that visit back to Italy. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Spalding. And I don't worry, I'm going to sell so many vacuum cleaners, I'm going to afford to see my mom and me every weekend. <laughs> Okay, Basco, this is the house. Now, look, this Mrs. McCrary phoned in for a free demonstration, see? I want you to keep your eyes open and watch how I rope in the suckers, see? <laughs> well, I don't worry because uh, I'm a see pretty good. <laughs> you know, you worry me, Basco. Now, just one thing. Let me do all the talking. You just keep quiet. That's all right, Mr. Grammer. I'm, I'm not so good on the talking, but I'm a very good on the shutting up. <laughs> Come on. Yes? Mrs. McCrary? Yes. Uh, my name is Mr. Graham, and I represent the Apex Vacuum Cleaner Company. I believe you phoned in for a free demonstration. Oh, yes. Come in, won't you? Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm, I'm going to shut up. What? Uh, Mrs. McCrary, this is my assistant, Mr. Basco. Oh, how do you do? Oh, I'm a fair fine. Uh, three weeks ago, I had a little cold, but Pasquale was a fill me up. <laughs> uh, Basco. Uh, please, I'm all right. I'm shut up. I'm... Uh, Mrs. McCrary, I'm not going to go into any long-winded sales pitch about our clean and tell you why we think our model is the best on the market. Suffice to say that we believe in honesty at all times. Right, Basco? Don't worry. I'm a shut up. Uh, just take my word for it, Mrs. McQuarrie. In the last couple of hours, we've placed six machines in homes just like yours. Oh, in this neighborhood, Mr. Basco? He didn't sell a one while I was with him. 
lazy, lazy Mr. <laughs> Mr. Grammer, you, you said that we, we believe in honesty. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's a great kidder, Mrs. McCrary. <laughs> now, action speaks for itself, we always say. Now, where is the outlet in this room, please? Oh, right there behind the sofa. Okie dokie. Plug this in, Basco. Okie dokie, I'm a plug him in. <laughs> First, we've got to move away the cicatch, eh? Mamma mia. You know, lady, you, you need this cleaner very bad. There's a whole pile of dirt up, saved up the back of here. <laughs> well, I really haven't had a chance to clean. That's all right. Oh, you plenty smart, Mrs. McCready. The way you keep this couch over the little hole in the rug, huh? <laughs> Masco! Well, we intend to get a new rug. Uh, and... Don't mind him, Mrs. McCrary. He's <laughs> he's new with the firm. <laughs> Come on, Basco. What's holding up the works? Well, I'm, I'm I got a little shock, and I'm waiting until my finger cools off. <laughs> okay, Ducky is in now. Push a little button. There's something wrong with the switch, Mr. Graham? Uh, no, no, it'll be fine. Well, perhaps it's my socket that's at fault. Uh, yes, that could very well be. And maybe the machine isn't at the so good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, a, it's a like my mom always says, is it not? Nothing like a plain old broom with a sweep up of the... Excuse me, I'm, I'm a better shut up, Pam. Master, maybe you better wait for me outside, huh? But before you said that, you want I should watch you how you rope in the suckers. Oh. Uh, he's, a, he's a great kidder, Mrs. McCrary, just like I said. <laughs> I think he's cute. Are these machines very expensive, Mr. Graham? Oh, absolutely not. There's only ten dollars down or ten dollars a month. Oh, well, that doesn't sound like very much. And the whole thing is that up to only hundred and fifty four dollars. Oh, good heavens, I can't afford that. Well, it's it's not so much, Mrs. McCrary. No, no, it's not so much. With well, the interest is only two hundred dollars. <laughs> Basco, you're fired. No, 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 please, uh, please, uh, please. Uh, uh, I'm going to shut up. Look, look, I'm, 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 I'm shutting up for now. Never mind. I'll take the machine, madam. Thank you, and goodbye. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Basco. It's all right. It's all right, lady. I, I didn't mean to cost you your job. It's all right. It was, it was all my fault. I, I, I guess I'm going to forget to shut up. Mr. Basco, perhaps if I spoke to your boss... No, no, he... please, I'm... I'm, I'm a never going to be a good salesman, never, but, but don't worry, I'm, I'm going to get to Italy even if I'm got a big bottle or... Sure. That's where I'm going to get the money. What? Mamma mia, why am I don't think of this before? That's where I'm going to get the money for the trip, and now I know where I'm... Mrs. McCready? Yes? I feel so good now. Don't worry about the dirt behind the sofa. Don't worry about the napkin. You bring it the broom, my help you sweep it under the rug. Be sure to join us tomorrow at this same time and find out just how Luigi Basco intends to raise the money for the boat trip home to Mamma Mia. <laughs>